Maurice Goldhaber April 18, 1911 to May 11, 2011, was an Austrian-born American physicist, who in 1957 with Lee Grodzins and Andrew Sinyar established that neutrinos have negative helicity. <laughs> Early life and childhood He was born on April 18, 1911 in Lemberg, Austria now called Lviv, Ukraine. Education After beginning his physics studies at the University of Berlin, he earned his doctorate at Cambridge University in 1936, belonging to Maudlin College. Career In 1934, working at the Cavendish Laboratory in Cambridge, England he and James Chadwick, through what they called the nuclear photoelectric effect, established that the neutron has a great enough mass over the proton to decay. He moved to the University of Illinois in 1938. In the 1940s with his wife Gertrude Scharf Goldhaber he established that beta particles are identical to electrons. He joined Brookhaven National Laboratory in 1950. With Edward Teller he proposed that the so-called giant dipole nuclear resonance was due to the neutrons in a nucleus vibrating as a group against the protons as a group Goldhaber -Teller model. He made a well-known bet with Hartland Snyder in about 1955 that antiprotons could not exist. When he lost the bet, he speculated that the reason antimatter does not appear to be abundant in the universe is that before the Big Bang, a single particle, the universin, existed that then decayed into Cosmon and anti cosmon, and that the cosmon subsequently decayed to produce the known cosmos. In the 1950s, also, he speculated that all fermions, such as electrons, protons, and neutrons, are doubled that is, that each is associated with a similar heavier particle. He also speculated that in what became known as the Goldhaber Christie model, the so called strange particles were composites of just three basic particles. He was director of Brookhaven National Laboratory from 1961 to 1973. Among his many other awards, he won the National Medal of Science in 1983, the Wolf Prize in 1991, the J. Robert Oppenheimer Memorial Prize in 1982 shared with Robert Marshak, and the Fermi Award in 1998. Maurice Goldhaber's brother Gerson Goldhaber was a professor of physics at the University of California Berkeley, his son Alfred Scharf Goldhaber is a professor of physics at SUNY Stony Brook, his grandson son of Alfred David Goldhaber Gordon is a professor of physics at Stanford. <laughs> Death Goldhaber died May 11, 2011 at his home in East Setauket, New York at 100. Topic. Legacy In 2001, Brookhaven National Laboratory created the Gertrude and Maurice Goldhaber Distinguished Fellowships in his honor. These prestigious fellowships are awarded to early career scientists with exceptional talent and credentials who have a strong desire for independent research at the frontiers of their fields. Topic. References G. Feinberg, A. W. Senyar, J. Wenesser, A. Festschrift for Maurice Goldhaber, New York Academy of Sciences 1993, ISBN 0-89766-086-2 External links In memoriam, Maurice Goldhaber BNL celebrates Goldhaber's 90th year Description of Goldhaber's spinning neutrino experiment Biography of Maurice Goldhaber at Fermi Award website Oral history interview transcript with Maurice Goldhaber 10 January 1967, American Institute of Physics, Niels Bohr Library and Archives